G'day ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another let's play let's go let's see let's do and today what the hell are we going to do? Star Citizen folks and yes welcome back okay so this one is going to be a very strange one for you folks on Friday the 3rd of May 2020 what the bloody year are we in 2024 there we go um Star Citizen in there Star Citizen live what do you want to call it? Podcast, communication, whatever the hell they do. Um, basically announced that they're going to wipe all the money. And so I thought, well, let's go start getting ships with the money I have. Because I'll be fucking crying otherwise. Because they said they also will wipe the rental ships. Now, I don't know what they mean by rental ships, but I'm gone shopping and I'm going shopping. So obviously I've got myself an Anvil Pisces. I've gotten myself a Karak. And I'm just making sure these things load up and come down and all the other stuff. So I'm going to store it. This is just annoying, I know, but I have to do it. Okay, C2 Hercules I've got. The Vulture I've got. The Prospector I've got. Um, that can be deleted if I could. And I also got myself an Origin 600i Touring. Um, and I did that because I did not want the um, 890 jump. I know you're probably going to start yelling at me for that, but nah. Hey, what am I going to do with it? But the 600i kind of looked like it's more than enough for me. So, but that's not my only purchase. Um, I am going to head over to Lawville on Hurston. And I'm going to go and browse and see what else I can get there. The plan is to get some type of fighter ships as well. But um, you guys know me. I know sweet fuck all about ship-to-ship -ship combat. So I'm probably going to buy the most stupidest things. Anyway, it'll be a good laugh for you guys and an experience for me. Uh, so what are we doing? We are now going to get into the 600i. It's a nice ship. Now I've previously done a video on this, at least I think I have. Um, if I have, it's in the top corner. If I haven't, I'll have to record another one. Now there is no guarantee that all these ships I'm going to buy are going to be there after the new patch goes live. Okay, No guarantee. I'm hoping that it's going to be there. Otherwise, oh well. It was a nice video and pretty much for nothing. So we'll see in the when the patch goes live. I've also been keeping up to date with that as well. Just kind of sitting there logging into the game every day. Just going, come on, you there? No, you're not. Fuck. Okay. And I just bugger off and do something else. Uh, but uh, yeah, they are getting close. Uh, if you listen to some other um, YouTube channels, um, they believe it should have already been there already. Yeah... I'm, I'm reading through the patch notes, and I'm just like, uh, they're making improvements, yeah, but I don't think they want to kind of sacrifice certain things from happening. For example, like, what was, what was it? At the time of the recording, I remember reading, like, you get onto the actual transits between, like, the city and the um, space station, dock thing, whatever the fuck this thing's called, and um, sometimes you can desync and you can go off the rails and just fuck off somewhere else to oblivion. Don't think you want that. <coughs> But, um, yeah, that would have been funny as well. So, we are here. We are waiting. I'm just trying to see if there's a better shot for this. All in all, I'm not exactly... I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'm not a fan of how this ship looks. At least on the outside. Inside is a completely different fucking story. So, I can handle kind of something strange like this on the outside. It just looks incomplete. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments as well. But, um, yeah, when you're inside exploring, oh, it's a whole different ball game. And I really love it that they've got the billiard room at the back. Or is it downstairs at the back? I don't know. But if you actually go into the back and take a seat, you may actually think you're on the bridge of the Enterprise D. Uh, and again, I'll just say that. So anyway, we're here at um, Lawville. We're coming in for a landing. Everything looks like it's working so far, so I'm quite happy about that. Um, now, I must admit, it's been a while since I've landed this ship, so this, bear with me here, folks. This is going to be a strange landing. Where the fuck do I have to go? So things are opening everywhere, but which one's mine? I know it's the marker here. Is that the one here, or is that the one... Is it this one? Why is that a warning? Is this it? Yep. Sorry, folks. I just needed to check this one. So I'll do a bit of a nosedive going in. 
straighten myself out, lift the nose up. What warning? Why does it say collision alert? I'm not going to smack anything. Oh, did I just smack something? <laughs> Why did it turn that way? Um, is N working? Auto land. Yes, it is. Oh, thank you to the developers and Star Citizen who created this little feature. Thank you very much. So we'll let that thing land. And we'll let it land. Okay, so I'm going to do something very similar, I think. I'm just going to, well, you guys know where I'm going to go and buy the actual ships. But I'm not going to bore you with the ship selection. And to be very honest with you, I wasn't the only one who listened to the um, Star Citizen recording. And there was a fuckload of people on the servers running around going into um, shopping for ships. Uh, that was some fun things in the comments. But um, yeah, all in all, very interested to see what uh, 323 brings. Don't know when it's going to go live though. And uh, I think the only people that know that are the guys in Star Citizen or CIG. And I'm guessing that they're probably waiting for a few more uh, bugs to be fixed first before they go live. So yeah. Anyway, I'm purposely not staying or going anywhere near the PTU or the E. PTU or whatever the fuck it's called because I really want to be surprised <laughs> I really want to be surprised if I have my ships when I um when I start that patch I would be fucking shocked I know the money's gone all right they've mentioned that and after me going on a bit of a spending spree they they can keep it <laughs> if you understand where I'm going with that but where the hell do I put... Can I put cargo in this? Huh. I didn't even think about that. So yeah, anyway, we're going for a bit of a run here, folks. Although it seems... Yeah. Okay. Oddly enough, I thought I had two guns on it, but... Were the other one fucked off too? I don't know. Strange. Okay. Come on. Oi! Here we go. Uh, let's go to the spaceport. Don't knock into me, mate. Hmm. Okay. Nah, try to steal this gun. That didn't work. Oh, fucking doors. Come on. There we go. Who the fucks are talking? All right, that was strange. Okay, so I'm going to store this ship here. It's a luxury ship. Very nice. Okay, so let's go off and see how many people are going to be here waiting to buy ships. I might be lucky. Uh, that looks like there's one person there. Two inside. And people are walking around. Okay, folks, what have we got? Except for these people talking. Okay, so we bought. Ah, that's too quick. These guys are annoying the fuck out of me. Stop talking on the main channel, you idiots. Okay, so we've got the. What is it? The Retaliator. We've got the Vanguard Warden. What else have we got? We got the Argo Mole. Just in case mining works again. Oh, this is painful. It's annoying that you have to do this all the time. So, Argo Mole. Yeah, store the warden. So, the mole we got. Origin we got. Pisces. Didn't I get something else? Or am I just being stupid? No, no. Mole we got already. Sorry folks, I'm just scratching my head. I thought I had one more ship, unless I'm doing something. No. No, I must have thought I bought something else, but I didn't. That's all right, I'll store this one. So which one are we gonna fly back with? We reckon the Warden? So I wanted a heavy fighter, and I bought myself a heavy bomber by accident, but that's all right. So let's have a look at this heavy fighter. 
I honestly don't think I've actually ever flown this ship. I could be wrong. I've flown many ships, especially in those free fly times. But I don't know if I've actually done anything with this. I think I've been in it once, maybe. I can't remember. It's been so long ago, folks. Come on, elevators. This is why I don't stay at Louisville. Come on. Let's go. Hangar 7, wasn't it? Yeah. So, where's my helmet? There it is. It takes a few seconds to load up. Door should open up and I should just simply walk out. That... <laughs> it does not happen. Ah, uh, it's an annoyance, but it's fine. All right, that's not a bad little ship. I'm assuming I get into it from the back. Yeah. Okay. All right. I've got no idea what type of armaments this has got. I've got I have no idea. I've no freaking idea. We're gonna have a look and see what we get up to in this ship. Yeah, I've been in this before. I've um, tried to hold, scrape it. Yeah, I have. Is this the one with the stupid stuff on the side? If it's not this one, it's a very similar ship to it. Come on, open the door. Um, yeah. And the stuff on the... I think this was the one where I couldn't get the stuff out of it. Yeah, yeah, this is it. Yeah. All right, let's have a look. Enter the pilot seat. Let's have a look at the cockpit while we're here. So I'm gonna head back to area 18, but let's take it out for a little bit of a spin first. Okay. Come on. All right, so. Okay, that screen, I'm just gonna customize it to what I want, tell my comms there. Okay, I don't mind the size of the screens, and they're all overpowering. Alright, that's not too bad actually. So, we'll take off and then we'll put the landing gear in and see what else this thing does. Huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was kind of expecting more than that. Alright, but this is the most important part. When we push it, What's it going to sound like? Ah, I'm underwhelmed. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is horrible. C2 made more fucking noise than that. Alright, fair enough. Okay, so we will punch him up a little bit. Although you got to give me credit here, boys. I mean, that was pretty much a 90 degree lift and tilt, and um, yeah. Not bad for not looking at anything. So come on, let's get into orbit. Let's get into orbit, and I don't even... Okay, there we go. That wasn't too bad. Uh, yep, we want our corp. Set the route. Oh, great. Fucking quantum markers. All right, here we go. Let's have a look while we're here. You know I'm going to do this. Let's go into the third person view, Ev. What do you reckon? No! Ev! What you doing? Got to do it for this one, right? There you go. Huh. Okay, let's have a look. Give it a bit of a spin around. I hope it fights better than what it looks. I'm not a fan of it. I'm, I'm really not. But then it'll grow on me like everything else in this game. Okay, so what I'm really interested in is to have a look around, okay? Let's take a sticky beak like we say in Australia. Okay, so I see a panel here. Can I enter? Oh, use engineering station. Okay. Imagine engineering gameplay on this thing. It's not going to be much. Um, let's have a look. What do I have to do? Power on. Uh, staring me in the face. Ah, is that it? That's fucking annoying. How do I go out? 
Where's the exit button? I don't need to power off. I don't need to fucking turn the bloody ship off. Um, it's no exit. Can I press Z on the key? Ah, okay. Like you get out of the cockpit. Alright, that makes sense. What do we got there? Don't want to open that. Kind of don't want to step on this because I'm afraid I'm going to go into space. Don't want to open up the quantum drive either. Uh, is that the... What's that? Storage? No, is that the toilet? Shower? Oh, there we go. How nice. Can we open the toilet? Obviously. Oh, hang on. It says closed door. No, I don't want to close the door. Ah, to... oh, piss off! <laughs> you fucking mongrels. Can't even take a crap in this game, can ya? Alright, rage quick folks, see you in the next one. I'm done.